Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, still Saturday, happy Saturday again. Um, I went out to a store and it was like really, really kind of like more, I knew that was gonna happen. That was kind of more out of my way, but um, I had to go in that area and pay a bill anyway. But the store is called Five Below. So, I've managed to finally get to the store five below. Now, on a nice, warm, sunny day, it would probably be better off. But it, just because I had to do this as <clears throat> an emergency kind of sort of case. I was looking for my soda. Okay. I had to do this in, like, an emergency. It was important that I get the bill out before because Monday happens to be a holiday um, so that's important mm. I don't know I go to talk and my mouth gets very dry but I've made it to five below Old Navy is next door but I want to save that because my husband wants to go to Old Navy so <clears throat> I think I'm going to save that for him and me I, I need jeans and stuff like that <clears throat> anyway I don't know what's wrong with me lately it wasn't that way this morning Oh, okay. I brought my cart with me just because I didn't want to carry a bag and I didn't, I wasn't sure really what I was going to buy, but Five Below is okay. It's a discount store. I've heard a lot of nice things about it. And again, maybe other people's Five Below locations are better, just like certain people's Dollar Trees are better, um, whatever the case. I want to get back into, not really exercising again, but to um, work at myself a little bit. Not just because of the start of the year or anything, but you know what? I'm getting tired of the social distancing. I'm getting tired of, I don't know, it's not, it's not a a point of being tired or being alone but it's just you know it's like there's only a certain amount of things that you can do in a day when you're sitting in one place by yourself that's what I wanted to do so years ago I used to see a nutritionist um, unfortunately because of relocation and everything um, can't do it anymore so but I do you know I do know of what to do I was doing it and it was working it was working great for my illness and my disease and I was a little bit heavy and then the weight gain came off and that was good and I want to see if I could do that again to maintain what I had started originally a few years back you know kind of with the COVID situation it slowed down a little bit I know people see this as a chance to oh good you know and you know what i can exercise more now i can meditate i can do yoga i can i'm not into the yoga i, I can't bend like that I, my body don't bend that way um anyhow but five below has a lot of things for exercising i mean they have like two or three rows in their store um for exercising so they had the mats and I got myself a yoga mat. I got a nice color because I, I don't like pink. We know I don't like pink. But if you've seen my past videos, I don't like pink. But this has got like a bluish purplish. That's cool because I like purple. Okay. And that was $5. 24 by 68 inch. Extra thick mat for added comfort. Fine. So I got that. Now, the thing to store it. I didn't know if that's going to be a problem. I've never owned a yoga mat. This is my very first one, everybody. So I did see down the other aisle, they have storage for yoga mats. So I picked up. I knew that was going to stick to the bag. I picked up a yoga mat bag. <laughs> you know, with the uh, thing. I'm not taking it out of the house anywhere. It's just... Maybe I'd like to hang it up maybe in the closet. I think I could do that. I could, I could, 
Oh, there we go. See, I could possibly hang it up in the closet. And they didn't have really any other colors. They only had black. But then I saw this one. This is like a black and white grayish. So I picked that one up. And I says, okay, I'm set for that now. Then at my old location, I did have a set of weights. They were three pound weights. And I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I would, don't even, you know, you get caught up in the moment. Things were happening. The weights were disposed of. I wanted my weights back. I sat here the other night and I said, you know, I said to my husband, you know, I really, I miss my weights. I really, I, that was a stupid thing I did. That was a stupid thing. Sometimes we just make those mistakes. Well, at five below, they had the weights. They're $4 each. <laughs> So I got myself, welcome home, my three pound weights. I know it's backwards. So I got my three pound weights and they're $4 each. Okay. Series fitness, they're $4. And I used to just do, you know, exercises and it was just wonderful. And then the, the, the curls and then the bips. I know I don't have it a longer screen, so I can't show you. And my weights were actually, they were three pounds, but they were like a little bit bigger than this. The faces were bigger. I'm glad these are small. They had at five below, they had the one pound weights for $1.50. These are the three pound weights for $4. And they had the five pound weights for $5. But I'm happy. I'm happy I got my weights back. Okay, so then I could lay on the floor in my yoga mat and do my weights and do my, my cardio, my lifting. Okay, sounds good. I also, which I never had a pair of these, and these were $3 each. These are neoprene fitness gloves, and these are $3 each. And I got the size large because they seem to be a little bit, um, the smaller ones were a little bit snug. I like everything to fit a little bit bigger. So these are what they look like. I can actually lose these for bowling. So, you know, I have a bowling ball in there. That's something I haven't done in years. I, I really... I think there's a bowling alley around here somewhere in the new, in my new location. I don't know what this, you know, the COVID situation, I don't even know if they're open, but it's something nice to look forward to for the future. Yes, we get, my husband and I, let's, let's put it this way, even with video games, we have a competitive, we're competitive. <laughs> we really are. But um, I can actually use these for bowling too. I should go and get another pair, but that walk is going to kill me, so I can't do it. So I got one pair of these, and these are gripped. I like these because I guess these could be gripped for my weights. That's cool. That's nice. Very good. Okay. And like I said, those were $3 each. And then I was walking down the aisles, just walking up and down the aisles because I've never been to the, that store before. They had, oh my God, my favorite incense. I says, of all places to have the incense. They have it here. And they have, company is called Wildberry. And they had eight sticks. You could pick out eight, you know, you could do it, you know, um, mix and match, or you could just, but they have to be eight sticks in a bag. They were eight sticks for $2. There were four sticks for $2. And eight sticks for, no, eight sticks for $4. And... Four sticks for two dollars. That was it. So I got eight sticks. The only problem is, is like, I usually get these where I get my tattoos at my tattoo parlor, and right now, you know, I can't get over there either. So what I usually do is, what they should have did was have like a sharpie or a pen stuck to something. I usually write down what the scent was, because what it is is that at the store they have jaws, and the jaws are marked, and then you just take the sticks, and then there's bags on the side, and then you put the bags. Okay, so like I said, the company is called Wild Berry. These are the best incense sticks, in my opinion. I first started buying these, believe it or not, at the House of Blues, downtown Disney, at, uh, I was going to say the marketplace, um, Disney Springs, at the House of Blues. They sell these. They, they sell jaws, you know, they sell loads of them. Um, and I love these. My tattoo shop and house of blues so i just picked up random ones i have the fairy dust i think it's fairy dust king cake 
I love king cake. That uh, King cake, I already know what it smells like. But see, they're not marked now, so I really wouldn't know which one's which. I'm an idiot. Anywho, but they do have things at the ends. But to, to me, it doesn't make a difference. Once I forget, I forget. But I'm happy anyway. So I just got, you know, four of the pa packs. Okay, what else did I get? Oh, this was an impulse buy because I was dying for some sort of candy, something to suck on, not to chew on too much because of my teeth. Um, I didn't really want chocolate. So I got my Swedish Fish. Swedish Fish Minis. And believe me, this is some size bag. And this bag was $5. It is a one pound bag for five dollars. That's great. So I came home and of course I started eating them. Really, I should I should have some sort of lunch <laughs> before I eat. This is a little fish. And I want to say that's it. That's it. I skipped Old Navy and I took a nice walk back. The walk is long. The walk is long. As a matter of fact. He would have beat me, but he's taking too long, which I'm waiting for an Amazon delivery. Nothing special. It's just a CD. Um, an Amazon delivery. He was 10 stops away. My husband had texted me when I was leaving five below. I says, I'm going to be on my way home. I'm going to start walking. Give me time. My husband says, yes. He writes back and says, the Amazon delivery is 10 stops away. I got back here. It took me about maybe 30, 35 minutes to come back. He was still three stops away. I said to my husband, you mean to tell me I beat this SOB? So for the past hour that I have been home, he's still three stops away. I was just my husband, what is he doing? He says, more. he's probably having lunch. Okay, understandable. But I still beat him home. Um, the thing is, now that I get a, a text saying that... Um, he had to do a few more stops before stopping at my stop. You were three stops away. You were three stops away. Where the hell are you going? I don't understand these delivery men. I really don't. But that's the way it goes. All right, people. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Love to all. That's it for me and five below. God bless. Have a great Saturday. Bye-bye.